Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see the learning outcome in class 4 with respect to the concept numbers or large numbers. Let us go into the details of this video to see why they are called as large numbers in class 4. Let us take a quick look at the other mathematical concepts which I will be dealing with in my channel. They are mathematical operations on numbers, shapes and patterns, time, money, measurements and data handling. Links to each of these individual videos are provided below in the description box. In this video, we are dealing with the concept numbers for class 4. Now, let us see how the concept numbers has evolved from class 1. In class 1, we saw all about two-digit numbers, that is numbers from 1 to 100 and also about ordinal numbers. In class 2, we dealt with three-digit numbers and also odd and even numbers. In class 3, we saw all details with respect to four-digit numbers. Now, in class 4, we will be dealing with five and six-digit numbers. That is why they are called as large numbers. And we will also learn to write Roman numerals from 1 to 39. Next in class 5, we will be dealing with 7 and 8 digit numbers which are also large numbers and also learn to write Roman numerals from 1 to 100. Dear viewers, in each of my videos in which I am dealing with a learning outcome across all these classes, I have included one interesting question for you to answer at the end of the video. So please stay with me at the end of this session. Now, let us take a detailed look at the learning outcome with respect to class 4 under the concept numbers. The first topic we will be seeing is the place value concepts. In class 4 we will be dealing with 1's place, 10's place, 100's place, 1000's place, 10,000's place and lakhs place. As I told you we will be dealing with 5 and 6 digit numbers. We will be taking a detailed look at the place values 10,000 and lakhs. The next topic we will be dealing with is some activities with respect to 5 and 6 digit numbers. Next topic will be comparing numbers with different and same number of digits. Which means we will be seeing comparison of 2, 3 and 4 digit numbers with a 5 digit or a 6 digit number and comparison of a 5 and a 6 digit number among themselves. And the next topic we will be seeing is about rounding numbers and Roman numerals from 1 to 39. Now, let us see what are the topics we will be seeing under the place value concepts. Here, we will learn to build 5 and 6 digit numbers along with their number names. Then, we will be dealing with activities related to 5 and 6 digit numbers on Abacus. Now, in class 4, we will be seeing something new. What is that? ones and thousands periods. What does it mean? As we are dealing with large numbers over here, to make it easy to read them, the digits are divided into periods and the periods are separated by commas. We will see more details about this in the place value concept videos, the link for which will be given below in the description box. Then we will be doing activities related to the face value and place value concepts and also Learn to write the large numbers in expanded form and standard form. Next, under the topic 5 and 6 digit numbers, we will be seeing the following. We will learn how to make greatest and smallest 5 and 6 digit number. And then, we will be seeing this concept of writing 1000 less than, lakhs less than, 10,000 less than a number and also 1000 more than 10,000 more than and lakh more than a number. Next, under the topic comparing numbers, we will be seeing the following. We will learn to identify the greatest number, identify the smallest number, compare numbers using the symbols greater than, less than and equal to. And once you learn to compare, you will learn to arrange the numbers in ascending order and descending order. And here, we will be learning something new. Building greatest and smallest numbers. And here it will be without repeating the digits and with repeating the digits. Each of the topics shown over here are dealt with 
in separate videos and links for the same are provided below in the description box. If you like the content of this video, please click the subscribe button which is available here or the one at the bottom of the screen. And wait, do not forget to tap the bell button to receive notifications of regular updates. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video and share the video with your friends. And leave your comments in the comment section. Now, for a concept based question before we close this session. What is the difference between the successor and predecessor of a number? Please leave your answers in the comment section. I would be happy to answer to each of your comments. Thank you for watching my channel. See you again in the next video.